Hey, it's Denise from Lumahead.com, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to cast on using waste yarn. You need three yarns in contrasting colors, your base yarn that you mount, your waste yarn, and the working yarn, which is your project yarn. Make a slip knot and place it on the first peg. Now wrap every peg twice, and the number of pegs is going to be determined by your pattern. Now knit off. Grab your pegs again because you need to have at least two rows of the base yarn. Then cut off your yarn and you're going to wrap and knit off on that last peg. Your waist yarn should be twice the length of your pegs. Place your working yarn flat over that base yarn and then you're going to use either the U-wrap or the flat uh, version of the knit stitch to add this um, waist yarn. Do not use the E-wrap because it's not going to work right. Keep your stitches really, really loose. Once you're done adding the waste yarn, then it's time to incorporate your actual working yarn, which like I said before, is your project yarn. Measure it three to four times the length of your pegs. Make a slip knot, and then this is just my suggestion, if you can't, you can't, but try to avoid placing it on the first peg. And just like when you added the waist yarn, try to knit either flat or using the U-wrap version of the knit stitch. Don't use the E-wrap because it's just not going to work right. Now depending on your project, your tail can end up being really, really, really long and if you want to keep it out of the way, you can just wrap it into a little ball. And then you can use a rubber band or just with another piece of string, tie a bow in order to keep it all together. Now I started mounting on the left, but you can start your project on the right. It all depends on you and your pattern. Once the working yarn is on the loom, you can start knitting your pattern. And once you're done doing that, you're going to bind off that end of the of your um, project. And there are many types of ways of binding off. Uh, a lot of us tend to use the basic bind off, and that is okay. But you know, look at your pattern or decide what bind off or cast off is going to work best for you. Here, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of the basic bind off and then you need to stick with me because we're not done with this after you bind off we need to remount um, that other end that has the waist yarn so stay with me
Now I'm going to show you how to remount those stitches. Stretch out the stitches so you can separate the fabric from the waist yarn. At this point, some folks will just pull the waist yarn out and then remount the loops that way. I don't do that. I do them one at a time. Pull the waist yarn out as you work each loop. Remount all your loops except the last one. If you left the waist yarn, it should still be holding on to it. Trying to remount it at this point is really difficult and um, it's just going to be easier if you wait till the end. So let's start the bind off. Use the same bind off method you used on the other end. When you reach the last two or three, you can add that last stitch. Pull the waist yarn completely out. done.